Got to ask before I let you go, you are a woman in business. You seem extremely focused, extremely knowledgeable about your industry. Personal life. Is there a personal life? There is a young woman out there right now who is gung-ho about her career, gung-ho about making it happen, creating the next billion dollar business. How do you, is there a personal life and how do you juggle for that matter? It is a personal life. I'm married. I'm a newlywed from, you know, lockdown marriage, you know. Congratulations. I have a 16 year old daughter. My daughter's been homeschooled since the second grade. So while I'm building these businesses, I'm very involved parent. Um, and there's no juggle and there's no balance. It's like prior, prioritizing every day what's important and really communicating with everyone involved, your, your significant other, your family, your children, your team, as to where they fall in that priority. You know, some days it's like, hey, me time, you know, self-care time, family time, no work. Some days it's like, hey, my day at work today is crazy, y'all. I'm about to see y'all like 10 o'clock at night because I have to work all day, you know, but that's the thing. It's never going to be even, but you have to make sure as an entrepreneur, especially as, as a woman, to... Um, make that effort to make that self-care and make time for yourself. And then I believe, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm living it. You can do both. I cook dinner for my family, you know, all the time, regularly. We have a, it's not, I'm not like, Oh, I'm too busy. I'm working. I can't, you know, all of that. No, because I, my, my, my motto is me first, me first, family first, then business. And that's also what my team motto is. I tell them, don't put this company before your health your mental health, your physical health, your family, because it's going to affect us negatively. If you're good, you're feeling good, you're sleeping, you're eating, your family's right, you're spending time with your spouse, your kids, you're going to be very productive at work because you're good in your life. If you're not sleeping, not eating, you're falling apart, your wife, husband mad at you, you, you under stress, you don't come to work and bring that stress to work. Don't bring that stress to work. Hold yourself down and then come to work. And it, it really works out for our company culture. Dope, Dawn. Uh, you know, you, you are an amazing example of what's possible. Uh, you're an amazing example of breaking boundaries and not being limited to uh, what society thinks you should be or could be. I love the fact that you said, hey, you know, I'm first. I put me first. I, that, that's important because especially in the world of business, we all have a tendency, especially when you're building a business, to, to put all of your eggs in that basket. And it seems like the other areas of your life suffer. And that's why you hear so often that, you know, there are so many people who are wealthy, but they're miserable. They're unhappy. So I love the fact that you have figured out a way to balance and, and still do what you love and build this incredible business. If anybody wanted to get in contact with you, where can they find you at? And also if they wanted to invest, where can they invest at? They definitely can reach me on, I'm on all social media. I'm very active on LinkedIn if you want like business correspondence. It's under Dawn Dixon, D-I-C-K-S-O-N. And then please check out our crowdfunding page. We're raising $5 million and we're about 800,000 into that five. So there's definitely room to get in. So on Start Engine at startengine.com forward slash popcom. And we just, you know, you'll be a part of something very big. This is a, this is a opportunity to get in early on an early stage tech company that definitely on a fast trajectory. I will also mention that just yesterday, this week, I was named to the Forbes next 1000 list. So you can see me in this current month's issue of Forbes magazine, the March issue. And also online at Forbes.com. And there's a great video showing the vending machine and, and, and with some history about Popcom too. Beautiful, beautiful. But well, Dawn, you know, I enjoyed this conversation with you. I, I think what you're doing is incredible. I think you are a role model, um, not just to women, not just to black women, but to people, to anybody who wants more in this life. You're showing that if you put in the work, if you are willing to sacrifice and do uh, your part, you can grow a business from start to 
now you're you're raising five million dollars. I just think it's incredible. I think you're such an inspiration. Worth 32, 31.3 million dollars. So yeah, it's talk that talk, Dawn. Go ahead. Make sure make yeah, hold up, Sean. No, no, I'm worth the company's worth 32, 30 million. Five million, but the company's <laughs> worth 30 million, okay? Be clear. I'm don't, I'm clear. <laughs> but I, I, I thank you for taking the time out. Uh, I wish you all the success in the world and you are a true power move maker. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.